I'm Myrna Moore, and this is TBS Storyline. Randy Lyons has waited his whole life for this day. I can't do some of the stuff like regular people can, but that's all right. I'm, I'm learning every day. Thanks to Rebecca Dowling, Randy is coming home. No talking. He's not interested in excuses. Doesn't want to hear about wasted potential. I will. I will. Respect my parents. Respect my parents. At all times. At all times. That's what you gotta do. But Deputy Chief Luther Graham might be the most caring role model these kids will ever know. Doctors told her there was nothing conventional medicine could do. What you're seeing right now is nothing short of a miracle. It's been a tremendous transformation. That's when Laura Agan discovered hippotherapy. Good morning and welcome to TBS Storyline. Driving to work, running errands, or paying the bills, tasks many consider part of life's routines can prove difficult for the mentally challenged. In Atlanta, their road to self-sufficiency leads straight to Rebecca Dowling and an innovative community she helped build. He waited nearly a decade for this day. Well, it's, it's moving time. Many see moving as a tedious task. That's not the case for Randy Lyons. I was wondering where this picture was. It was when I was six years old. Nearly 30 years ago, doctors diagnosed Randy as mentally challenged, giving him little hope for a normal life. When I was growing up in my childhood, I realized I was different when I went to high school. I have a learning disability. My reading level is about a five. I can't do some of the stuff like regular people can, but that's all right, I'm, I'm learning every day. Which is the goal for all of Becky Dowling's clients. All right, here's your key. Congratulations. Thank you. To become self-sufficient, ordinary citizens, or just people, the nonprofit she helped create to support mentally challenged adults. Somebody that's physically disabled can read and write, you know, can maneuver, figure out how to work a car, get to the grocery store. Our people need assistance with all those things, with the normal day-to-day -day things that we can do, things that you and I take for granted. Things like paying bills. So right now you're gonna have to stay at about $40 a week groceries. Okay. Getting to work or a trip to the grocery store Becky's work makes a concrete difference in the lives of people like Randy. If I wasn't in Just People, I might be in a group home. I can't live in a group home. I have to live, on, I have to live independently. Which is exactly why Becky financed and constructed the Just People Village, a $7.5 million, 53-unit residential complex that will house more than 100 clients. The consumers are so excited. They have um, been talking about this village for, I can't even count the years. It's exciting to see the dream come true and to walk from apartment to apartment and it really just be our consumers. The system says we need to mainstream them into the community so that they can be just like everybody else. So we came up with a place where everybody around them is gonna totally understand them and accept them and love them. A resident who shares a two-bedroom apartment will pay an average of $450 a month in rent, a figure Becky hopes to reduce if she can secure more grants, all because she knows the benefits of a nurturing environment. My father was mentally challenged, and I spent most of my childhood in uh, the VA hospital, in psychiatric wards, going to, you know, places you know, to visit people that were mentally challenged. Give me five. My love comes from being raised in that environment. 
I can relate to it because I lived it, you know, and I understand their feelings and I understand their pain and the loneliness of being a part of a family that's different, you know, from the rest of the world. In addition to practical financial and living assistance, Just People Incorporated organizes social activities like camping trips and bowling nights. I like everything that they provide for us. They provide a social program, transportation for us, cooking classes. It looks good, guys. I love Becky, and I'm proud of her that she started this group. She helped me in so many ways. She helped me become a more independent person. The most difficult thing that um, mentally challenged people are faced with is loneliness, is the day-to-day -day loneliness and the feeling of not fitting in somewhere. I really hope that the community ends up being all they hoped for. The excitement they have just today is almost overwhelming to watch. Excitement and independence she hopes will cultivate throughout the village she helped create. For more information on Just People or how you can help support the village, visit our website at tbsstoryline.com.